What is up guys, your boy Revan here today and the first day of Worlds is exciting, it's there right now but let's take a moment and just, you know, talk about what was announced. So there are the new V cards and I'm gonna do a video tomorrow about it when we're gonna have some more info because there are some details but I wanna get deeper into that but it also announced two new tag teams for the Cosmic Eclipse and that's what I'm gonna focus on in this video. So first of these tag teams, I have, you know, all uh, the details here is Arceus, Dialga and Palkia GX. Bam! What a tag team, what a trio actually to be quite fair and honest. I would. I was now not sure if we're gonna see a trio like that, but then there it is. We've got a trio. But what does uh, this card do? What does this stack team do? Is it good? Is it bad? Uh, that's a good question. So first things first, it has 280 HP. That's a good amount of HP on uh, the tag team, right now especially, right? So he kind of avoids uh, many attacks, so I would, I would not say no to uh, this amount of HP. Let's look at uh, the first attack, which is for one water, one metal type and one coreless. It's called Ultimate Ray for 150 damage. Search your deck for three basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokémon in any way you like. Not a bad attack, actually you know, not a, a bad attack. But getting all those pieces, especially water type and metal type energy, might be a little bit difficult, but still I wouldn't say no to uh, that attack if I had that energy. Then we have uh, a GX, let's look at the GX. I have not checked those cards before, so those are my genuine reactions to those. Uh, one metal type plus, it's called Altered Creation GX. For the rest of this game, your Pokemon attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So this is kind of similar to uh, Melmel and Lucario when you take 30 less. If this Pokemon has at least one extra water type energy attached to it, uh, your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out by damage from those attacks. Uh, if, so if uh, you knock out someone from uh, those attacks, you take one more prize card. So that is actually pretty, pretty nice uh, GX. And I think when um, we're going to be talking about the tag teams, this is one of the tag teams you want to use that GX attack during your turn two, and have that you know extra, uh, extra you know prize cards being taken uh, by your by your Pokemon because of course this GX itself doesn't have uh, doesn't have any uh, damage that it can deal so definitely a, not a bad card uh, it can really be brewed and I think it will be a deck around it it looks looks uh, really really nice but then let's go to the second tag team uh, and it's another trio it's Togepi, Cleffa and Igly buff uh, it's gonna be below BAM there it is and uh, it has 240 HP, it is a fairy type, and 240, that's kind of like, you know, Picarum, right? So not a lot of HP in the current meta, definitely. Uh, Rolling Panic, 120 uh, plus damage. Rolling Panic, of course, two, uh, two Psychic, two fairy type, one Coralesse. Flip a coin until you get Tails, this attack does 30 more damage for each heads. Definitely not my type of card. I I'm not a fan of flipping coins or rolling dices IRL. So not a very good tag team for me. Not a tag team that uh, I would like. But of course, you know, in Cosmic Eclipse, we're gonna have excuse me, few cards that will help you with the coin flips. So at least you'll definitely have one first one fifty. And what's next? Well, you have to you have to roll the dice for it. And I have a horrible luck, so I know uh, one fifty, and that will be it. Or one twenty, that's it. Uh, let's look at actually the GX attack. It's two fairy type plus again the plus, and we've got here Supreme Puff GX. Take another turn after this one. Well, that. It's interesting. That is really, really interesting that you're taking another turn for only uh, two fairy type energies. I think that is a really nice strategy for a deck like Guardian. Definitely a good attack. Mm, let's uh, look at you know the other effect. If this Pokemon has at least wait what 14 extra energy attached to it. Okay, 14. E yes, 14. Your opponent shuffles all of their benched Pokemon and all cards attached to them into their deck. Okay, so definitely you, know, you have to play the, the four, the hot ladies. But 14 extra energy. That is just a ridiculous amount of energy that you have to have on your Pokemon. So this is going to be a meme deck around it. Like It has to be a meme. I mean, 
I, I don't believe it's gonna be like a valid tier 1 deck, it's gonna be a meme, but as we see in Worlds, meme decks sometimes do win and they, you know, they are valid, so maybe by any chances this is gonna be like actual, you know, deck around uh, that attacks. But 14 energy, that is a ridiculous amount of uh, energy, really. So guys, what do you think about those two cards? Are they good for you? Are they bad? I want to hear your opinion on that. Uh, so again, we're going to talk about the V cards uh, and V Max in another video when we're going to have some more info uh, around the weekend, maybe tomorrow, maybe day after tomorrow, because they like, I mean, there's so many people covering it right now that I just, you know, want to have some more details uh, and some more time to actually prepare a better video for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more uh, Pokemon trading card game news. And down there below, you have a 5% discount on any code you would purchase on Professor Oak. Thank you guys so much for watching. Raven loves it. Goodbye, bam, and good night, boink. Yeah.